welcome back to my channel guys um it's been ages since i've just done like um something a bit more dramatic and a pop of color as well because usually i just tend to keep everything very natural so i thought i'll just teach you a look where i've done nothing on my eyes but apply false lashes there is no eyeliner there is nothing just mascara and um false lashes and then just like really bold lips using lip liner lipstick and lip gloss so hope you guys enjoyed this so I'm just going to teach you how to do a bold lip look without having to do too much on the eyes. So first up, my foundation. And I love my um, NARS Sheer Glow. My skin's a little bit sensitive at the moment because I had an allergic reaction while I was away. So I'm gonna use my Oval 6 brush and just massage it in. So I've just applied a bit of concealer, my NARS concealer, and then now I'm just doing some contouring with the foundation stick. So the NARS concealer that I used was the uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Sorry, my battery died, hence why this kind of disappeared. Um, so I've just used it under my um, eyes and then just like the tip of the nose, and then used it, you know, blended it in with the Beauty Blender, and then just use the back of the Beauty Blender and then just blend in the contour now you can if you want set it with powder but I'm actually going to keep it this way just because it's giving me a little bit of a glow and next up my NARS Laguna bronzer with my Charlotte Tilbury contour brush and I'm just gonna go over the areas where I've set it to set it um, with the powder so all the areas where I've actually contoured with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick as per usual, I like to do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup. It's just the routine that I have. So I'm using my MAC spiked pencil and I'm just going to fill in the little bit of gaps. Right, so I am going to only put on some false lashes, nothing else. No liner, no eyeshadow, no nothing, just some full false lashes and before I apply them I'm actually going to so if you have straight lashes make sure you crimp them put mascara on it and then put the lashes on last what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my um better than <clears throat> uh, from Too Faced and I'm literally going to do my top and uh, lower lashes first The reason for that is just so that you don't have to apply mascara on top of your false lashes. Because imagine you do have lashes that kind of stick out. So you've got your false lashes over there and you, and then your lashes like uh, below. It's just not going to look very nice. Um, and then when you do add a mascara on top of your false lashes, you won't be able to use your um, false lashes for too long. Right, so while I was doing this actually, I had already applied glue onto my false lashes. Um, just because it's like easier, right, to do it that way, um, less time consuming. So the lashes that I'm actually using are from Vespa Lax. Um, so she's actually based Asha. She's based in Malaysia, and so I did. Um, I used her lashes for my Malaysia masterclass and absolutely loved them. So I custom made. Um, no, custom. Well, she custom makes them, but I ordered a bunch, uh, and these were some of her lashes as well. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if these have names. I will put the link of her business in my description box, and you can contact her directly and ask her what lashes I've ordered from her. And it'll be helpful. So I've just um, applied some geo glue on it already, just making sure it's all like spread out everywhere. Yeah, this is fine. So now I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm just literally, you know, if you have not seen it, go watch my um, how to apply false lashes uh, YouTube video. Um, it explains it in a lot more detail. So what I'm gonna do is like from the top, sort of bring it inside and just. It's almost like you're locking it in with your wet mascara. And it's very key that your lashes at this point are already half dry, like the glue on the lashes. So that's why, while doing your own mascara, maybe already apply the glue and let it let it dry, you know, for 15, 20 seconds. All right, so some of this is still actually quite wet, so I could have been slower with my uh, mascara application. So maybe this might work in your favor actually if you if you're generally a little bit slower. So next one. Ta-da! I'm just gonna wait for them to completely dry. And then now 
see I've got the lashes or whatever going on and then I just want to do like really bold lips and this shirt that I've got on it's actually from um, Zara and it has that stripe of pink in it so I'm gonna give myself pink this was a collab a Taraji P Henson did with Mac so if you do have this limited edition Mac pink lipstick and you know lip gloss then obviously use that if not there is mac all fired up or any other bright pink that you know you're comfortable wearing so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to apply the lipstick first and when you stretch your lips you get a lot more product and it just glides on better rather than just putting it on while it's uh in its normal position and then you take your uh, lip liner. So I'm using Magenta from MAC as well. At this point, you can decide if you want to go literally lining your lips or if you want to go above. So I'm going above. And then now I'm going to finish it off with some gloss. But I'm just going to apply it in the middle of the lip. If you have very thin lips, apply it everywhere. Ta-da! Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope it was very easy. You can apply the exact same rule with obviously a slightly less dramatic lashes and you can use um, slightly less dramatic lips maybe, a different color or whatever, but it's just very quick and easy and you can really glam it up. You can do it for a special occasion, a sari or um, just, you know, um, like I'm dressed down in like a shirt with a bit of pink in it. And uh, I just felt like, hey, let me go a little bit dramatic for something casual so i hope you guys enjoyed this um please give it a thumbs up subscribe share and uh, watch out for my next video